Inspiration Lesson for reading for the Sagittarian Sun, Moon and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. This is positive. Um, it is the last week of October and the week begins from the 23rd until the 29th. It is a fire week. It's a good week for you guys. A lot of celebration. Good news is on its way to you. This week is a week of love. It's going to be wonderful. Victory and success. Hold on to what you have no matter what other people say. You have the energy of the organization. That means whatever the situation is is that people from out organization will be looking at you in this week or you have to communicate with people out of organization which is hospital um doctors clinic th that sort of a thing but what is going to happen is that this has to do with organization is a, is a earth um energy vibration that you have to work with a lot of people so as I look at your week, you have the energy of love crowned in your week. So it's a week of love. Um, in the beginning of a week, it's the three of ones where you're looking, you're thinking about going on a new journey. You're wondering if there is something better out there for you. On Tuesday, you have victory and success. A lot of success is coming into you. Um, in the middle of the week on Wednesday, the lovers is here. On Friday, people think Thursday, people think that you're holding on to your money. Whatever it is, hold on to it. It's yours. Um, on Friday, you have a situation with your boss or um, some someone at your work or um, someone who is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. And it can be also you're having a situation with your father on Friday. On Saturday, it's the moon, the water energy. It's your intuition. This moon is... Your intuition this moon is asking you to listen to your intuition the last energy you have on Sunday is that whatever is happening you are going to be very victorious and successful over this okay so let's look and see what is going on um, whatever is going on um, you are going to overcome um, your enemies whatever is going on you're going to overcome your enemies and um, you need to there is justice so you have a situation um, in the organization there is justice whatever that you have felt that was lost uh, there is going to be a justice to the situation and this is good on Monday you have the three of ones and the knight of Pentacles is uh, um, coming to you you're looking you're trying to figure out how you're going to balance a financial situation in your life and you're thinking about it call upon your angels and guides in the abundance the angel so that they can bring in whatever financial needs that you need on Monday on Tuesday um, is the energy of the three of the six of ones is a good energy good news and you are, are victorious over your enemies whoever your enemies or situations that you had found yourself in because your energies the energy of your enemies can't touch you anymore um this is good because it's in the reverse form good news is coming to you on tuesday on Wednesday, the middle of the week, we have the energy of the love. And some of you are going to be connecting with someone who is an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarian. And especially for the people between the ages of 18 and 35, this is going to be a powerful week of love for you guys. So this is going to be wonderful. This is your own energy vibration, especially for the people between the ages of 18 and 31. And love is going to be powerful. This is a week that you can meet your twin flame or soulmate or a positive love relationship as we move on on Thursday whatever you have be the miser you need to save whatever it is people are thinking that you're a miser hold on to what you have move away from these people and move away from a situation that thinks that you must give them or do something for them okay for some people on Friday whatever the situation is um and you have a supervisor that is an um an aquarius a leo or is uh, an aquarius a libra or a gemini be aware of this woman because i'm not really liking and i want to know what is happening it's not going to be a um a heartbreak with this person um let's see um okay 
the energy of the two four six of cups uh, is someone of the past uh, that you have to work with okay who is this woman um, it's like it's your supervisor so be aware of this woman not really like the, the ten uh, knight uh, king of Pentacles uh, okay so whatever is happening with this Queen of Swords um, she is your boss of that sort of a thing she is your boss and you know just she is your boss this Queen of Swords your boss this can be an Aquarian a Gemini or a Sagittarian uh, no or a Libra okay and it is a soul connection and uh, um, the Knight of Pentacles uh, has soul connection but it's like our bigger boss is the Knight of Pentacles and they really care about her so be aware of what you say or do with this person okay because you're not going to come out on top as we move on we have the energy of the moon this is a positive moon on Saturday whatever that was injustice and that sort of a thing whatever you're not seeing clearly you are about to, to see things much clearly and I'm going to ask the ten of cups is uh, your um, and on Sunday you have victory and success whatever you were in limbo about you have victory and success over this thing so this is good whatever you were placed in limbo about you have victory and success about this thing I'm still looking at this boss because your boss is a queen of sword and it is a is a, is a, is a past life situation but this king of Pentacles comes up and it can be that this king of pentacles do like you the, the, that is the bigger boss i think he really do likes you you know whatever is happening this connection between her and the bigger boss is in reverse because it was a soul connection but it is in reverse and it's so as if the bigger boss is liking you for some reason so um, maybe there can be a, a bit of a jealousy but do not vibrate in that energy with no one and I want to see what the moon is saying the moon is showing you art break conflicts something is happening art breaks and conflicts something is happening art breaks and conflicts the moon you're not seeing something clearly art breaks and conflicts on Saturday so whatever it is be aware of whatever is playing out and you know um, whatever is you know it's, it's, it's a situation where people are people and um, you should realize that you know you just hold your own corner uh, be polite to people whatever it is you're going to be victorious against a situation an injustice situation and it's you know it's gonna work out because love is the most profound thing in this week it's crowning your reading and on Sunday you have the ace of swords so you are going to be very victorious over it because it's as if this woman uh, of this man whoever but she comes up as a woman a supervisor so if anyone out there has a woman suit supervisors as if the relationship between she and the top man is in reverse and uh, he is is a soul connection but it's now in reverse so be aware of what is happening don't get involved in whatever is happening um let me see what is coming up the Pegasus so for you Sagittarians you have Pegasus coming up and it's going to be good open your heart to love call upon Pegasus the unicorn and ask them to open your heart to love so that you can openly love and have respect for each other okay next energy is wiki ball and this is good when the wiki ball comes up because it's it's really a positive energy however you look at it <coughs> sorry the wiki ball is a positive energy um I'm assessing theater wiki ball um psst. 
Just so you know, a wiki ball is not necessarily a sign of destruction. It's more like a blessing, a blessed invitation for brand new, exciting things uh, to blossom. Or all you need to do is to change your perception. Let this. Uh, I'm sorry. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> I have to get this reading done. So. Pegasus is here. Open up your heart in love and joy. So whatever is happening in this <coughs> sorry week, um, know that um, love and joy is the most important thing. I'm saying namaste until next week.